are we supposed to have a general election in this country when the candidate, the putative candidate for the Democrat Party is in hiding? (laughs) And I don't just mean because of the virus. The virus, actually, has been very helpful to Joe Biden's political career. (laughs) He's using it as an excuse. He's using it as an excuse to not be engaged some small fraction of the media that would like to ask him questions. In a strange way, he's hiding in plain sight. (laughs) But he's not scrutinized. He's scripted. (laughs) He's not subject to any serious questioning, whether it's about the alleged rape or anything else. (laughs) We hear these clips... They expose him to the public like five minutes at a time. That's it. (laughs) There is something wrong with this man. And he wants to become the most powerful man in the country, in the most powerful position in the world. We have to take care of the cure. That will make the problem worse no matter what. No, I can't tolerate this, and you shouldn't tolerate it either. But President Trump and the demagogues demagogues around the world... The media and the Democrat Party and all their surrogates know exactly what they're doing. They're running a stealth campaign. 90% attack Trump. The other 10% protect Biden. (laughs) Now, we cannot sit here while his, his handlers issue white papers on what we should do. There is something wrong with this man. Because we cannot get reelect. We cannot win this reelection. Excuse me, we can only re-elect Donald Trump. There is something wrong with this man. I, 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 I can't, I, I can't talk. What, what do I do? When Joe Biden is not subjected to any kind of press inquiries, any kind of serious questioning, he's being handled, he's being managed. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. There is something wrong with this man. I, 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 I can't, I, I can't talk. What, what, what do I do? There is something wrong with this man. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other guy. Give me a look, though, okay? A narrative is being created. I see these polls always doing better than Trump in this state and that state. <laughs> because they're creating an image. My name's Joe Biden. I'm running for, in this case, running for president of the United States. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other person. While they trash Trump real time, while they sleaze him, while they smear him, no matter what he does, Joe Biden is untouched. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. There is something wrong with this man. Donald Trump does pose an excellent strength to this. The, it's not hypothetical. There is something wrong with this man. They would put 720 million back million women back in the workforce. We have a right to see Joe Biden unencumbered by his handlers (laughs) and a media, 90% of which is protecting him. 150 million people have been killed since 2007 when Bernie voted to exempt the gun manufacturers from liability. When is the last time you saw Joe Biden seriously questioned for 15 minutes? (laughs) For 20 minutes, for 30 minutes. This guy's going to meet with the head of China, Xi. He's going to meet with Putin. I took on uh, Putin in terms of uh, Iraq. I mean, excuse me, in terms of uh, uh, um, what was going on in Ukraine. (laughs) He's going to negotiate peace deals in the Middle East. (laughs) There is something wrong with this man. No man has a right to raise a hand to a woman in anger other than in self-defense, and that's rarely ever occurs. And so we have to just change the culture, period, and keep punching at it and punching at it and punching at it. It will be a big... No, I really mean it. There is something wrong with this man. We choose truth over facts. There is something wrong with this man. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by... Go, you know the you know the thing. He's rambling, he's mumbling, he's buffoonish. <laughs> he is showing symptoms of some form of dementia. Everybody knows it, especially the experts. They know it, and yet every damn one of them says nothing. I don't have here in Miami in Miami, in Florida. 
You don't have a career. And that is, if you keep an audience. There is something wrong with this man. How about we have access to your candidate? Although I had met uh, Sully and his wife at an event in Los Angeles back in the, in the spring, late fall, early, I mean, late spring, late winter, early fall, early, anyway, you know what I mean. We've gone from the Lincoln-Douglas debates to debate after debate after debate to Joe Biden being hidden in the basement, <laughs> scripted. <laughs> Script, everybody knows this. It's interesting, I just spoke to the International Society of Psychiatric, uh, the International Organization of Psychiatrists, I forget the formal name of it. It is absolutely outrageous. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot, I got a lot of, I got hairy legs. There is something wrong with this man. That turn, that, 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 that turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. It is absolutely outrageous. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. There is something wrong with this man. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. It is absolutely outrageous. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. And I tell you what, the men, they're now all men, the guys I work with down here, and they're all guys at the time. There is something wrong with this man. They're all good men. Most of them made an awful lot of themselves. And Earl Larkin had a rough time. And some of you knew Earl. It is absolutely outrageous. I, def I came back as a public defender. Yes, he needs to be subjected to scrutiny over the rape allegation. A credible rape allegation. Do not put it on me, sir. Please, sir. Do not do that. There's a big issue here. He died. He died. Yes, the rape issue is critical. You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. There's only two presidents that I know of in my lifetime who've been accused of rape. Bill Clinton, one who wants to be president, Joe Biden. If you want to check my shape on it, let's do push-ups together here, man. Let's, do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. The Democrat Party is running a candidate who is mentally incapacitated. Isn't that what you said? I get your word straight, Jack. But we've never been confronted with a situation, certainly not in modern times, where the candidate, the putative candidate to be nominated by his party, the biggest party in the country, is incapacitated going into the Oval Office. And this is due to the Democrat Party, and it's due to the media. You and I've known eight presidents, three of them intimately. So before we get to policy, we need to know if this guy is capable of being president of the United States. Not because you disagree or agree with him. Now, the Democrats are going ahead. They're not going to nominate anybody else. This is the guy. Mr. Vice President, thank you. Thanks for your time. Please come back in less than 13 years, sir. All right, Chuck. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Uh, it's Chris, I but mean, anyway. Chris. I just did Chris. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I just did Chuck. They're not going to nominate anybody else. This is the guy. We know that you can't go too fast. It's about going too slow. And in order to avoid that, those very high numbers, we have to do at least several things. One, we have to uh, depend on what the president's going to do right now. And first of all, he has to uh, tell, uh, uh, wait till the cases before anything happens. Look, the whole idea is he's got to get in place things that we're shortages of. Obama will throw in for him, both of the Obamas. Are you at all concerned, as Trump said, that we cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself? We have to take care of the cure. That will make the problem worse no matter what. They could give a damn. We don't want a country, God forbid, if this man is elected, where the people who are really running the country are faceless, nameless, behind the scenes, inside the closet, hacks and political operatives. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. And so he was up on the board, wouldn't listen to me. I said, hey, Esther, you. Joe Biden is 77 years old. Should he get elected president of the United States, by the time he's sworn in, he'll be 78 years old. Off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. Well, he came off, and he said, I'll meet you outside. And I, he said, I'll be waiting for you. He was waiting for three guys in straight razors. He's only going to go downhill from here. You're seeing the best of Joe Biden right now. You're seeing the best, the sharpest Joe Biden can be right now. Not a joke. There's a guy named Bill Wright, Mouse, the only white guy, and he did all the pools. He was the mechanic. And I said, what am I going to do? He said, come down here in the basement. It goes south from here, further south than he already is. Where mechanics, where, where, where all the pool filter is. And you walk to the car and say, you may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. Now, we need to demand... 
We need to demand, despite what they do and say in Washington, D.C., despite what they do and say in New York City, and I'm not talking about the people, I'm talking about the phony elites, the self-appointed power brokers. We need to demand that we get to the bottom of this, that the media running interference for one party and one candidate is unacceptable for this country. It is enormously dangerous if Joe Biden is elected president of the United States. Enormously dangerous. I said, you're kidding me. He said, no, if you don't, don't come back. And he was right. So I walked out with the chain. And I walked up to my car. And they had, in those days, you used to remember the straight race. You'd bang them on the curb, get them rusty, put them in a rain barrel, get them rusty. He's incapable of speaking. He's incapable of keeping his thoughts straight. He's incapable of completing sentences. These are telltale signs. And I looked at him, but I was smart then. I said, first of all, I said, when I tell you to get off the board, you get off the board, and I'll kick you out again, but I shouldn't have called you, Esther Williams. I apologize for that. Because he's getting a pass. The Democrat Party's getting a pass, and the media are giving them a pass. They want all of our focus on Trump. Oh, look, Trump with disinfectant and Trump, and they spin and they lie. It's just constant with their attacks on Trump. I apologize, but I didn't know that apology was going to work. He said, you apologize to me? I said, I apologize for that, not for throwing you out, but I apologize for what I said. He said, okay, close the straight razor and my heart began to beat again. But this is now their strategy, the Democrat Party press and the Democrat Party to win the presidency. Just unload daily on Trump. Blame him for deaths. Blame him for unemployment, blame him for bankruptcies, blame him for the spread of the virus, blame him for everything. And that's what they're doing. Meanwhile, what about Joe? Forget about Joe. Trump, Trump, Trump. 